Oh, is this the new tenant? Are they... They look a lot nicer than the last one. He was so rude. And he didn't treat his poor little dog that well. But he's gone now. And he won't be coming back. This one though. Maybe. Maybe they'll give me a chance. Well, I have to start slowly introducing myself though. I can't rush things like I have in the past. They think they are either going crazy or trying to get an exorcist in. It's a very mean thing to do if you ask me. Trying to get rid of me. I guess I'll just watch them set everything up. The stuff they own should be able to tell me a little bit about them after all. I hope they wouldn't mind me sitting on their boxes. It shouldn't be an issue. Hey, why are they looking this way? Why do ghosts still have to feel pain? Being dead is kind of a cheap deal. Oh, what the... Did... Did you just touch me? Wait, you, you can see me. Am I dead? Of course I'm dead, what am I on about? You can see me? Hear me? Touch me? It's been so long. I don't know how you're able to interact with me. At least not without me putting a significant amount of effort into showing myself. Hell, I don't even care how. Can... Can you touch me again? Just on the back of my hand. Or anything, really. <laughs> You're so warm. I really, really miss this. Thank you. I really needed that. Um, sorry about your boxes. Normally I don't affect physical things. I was just gonna sit down and watch you unpack. Maybe try to get a read of what type of person you are. I apologize if that seems a little intrusive. It's a bit hard not to be if, you know, uh, you're tied to this place in the afterlife. But I promise I never would spy on you. That's not the type of person, um, ghost, I am. But maybe we can pause introductions for the moment. You should probably keep bringing things in. I suppose if I can interact with your stuff, I might as well help unpack. I can't leave this place though, so you'll still have to bring them inside. Yeah. Okay. I... Sorry if I freaked you out at all, and I hope this still isn't too weird. It's not every day that you find out you're moving in with a dead person. (laughs) 
Wow. I never moved before. But this seems like such a giant task. How come you moved out here? A fresh start. Some distance between family. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I can understand. Family can be... Very... Overwhelming. Or overbearing. Sometimes. All the time. I never had a chance to break away from mine. Although, I guess it happened in the end. We all lived here. A family of five. I really did love them. My siblings. I had a younger brother and sister. And I guess my parents. Maybe it wasn't love for them, but just a sort of respect. They fed me, kept me safe, and treated me okay. But I don't know if there was any love there. One night, the gas heater in my room had a leak. I didn't know. And I didn't wake up. It was peaceful, I guess. I was asleep. No pain. I just got out of bed and felt my spirit and body separate. I spent a few hours just staring at myself. I wasn't sure how I felt. Angry. Sad. Confused. It was beyond overwhelming. But I think it hurt more to see how my family reacted. My little sister came to get me. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Sorry. They moved out shortly after. They couldn't bear to stay. I hope my family's okay. I hope my sister's okay. I do wish I had a chance to tell her and my brother that it was going to be alright. And that I'm still around. Even in this form. <laughs> Wait. I could get you to send them a letter. Or a message for me. I guess you'd look a bit crazy saying that dead brother and son is doing okay. But even then, a bit of comfort is better than nothing. If you're okay with doing that, of course. And I suppose that leads me to another question. Are you okay with me being around? I can go hide in the attic while you're awake and stick to myself. It seems you can see me no matter what, so I can't really hide in plain sight. You'd love to have me around? <laughs> um, I'm sorry to ask this, but could I also 
get a hug. You have no idea how much this means to me. I'm so glad it was you who moved in. I wish... I wish I knew why you can interact with me so much. Maybe... What if, what if we're meant to be together, and I guess soulmates could be very literal, if that's the case, I'm so, so sorry we met like, you're right. I... Of course you're right. I shouldn't be apologising for that. Okay. For however long we can, I want to spend my time with you. I can be a stay-at-home boyfriend. Not that I have much of a choice. <laughs> But I'm sure it would be nice to have someone waiting, if that isn't jumping too far ahead. You do want to. <laughs> God, you're the best. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're the best outcome for a new tenant. Yeah, the last few tenants haven't been great. I let the dog go free from the last one. I hope the little guy's doing okay. Anywhere is better than with him though. The tenant before him was such a bore. Oh my god. He had the worst taste in movies and shows. I'm convinced he knew I was here and he just wanted to bore me out of existence. I hope you can at least introduce me to something good. I can't really choose what to watch, so I'm just tied down for the experience. <laughs> you know what we should watch? Great. Let's finish unpacking and then we can watch whatever you want. Yeah, let's get to it.